Welcome to My Utmost for His Highest for April 14th. What to do when your burden is overwhelming? Let's look at Psalm 55 verse 22. Psalm 55 verse 22 says, Cast your cares on the Lord and He will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. What to do when your burden is overwhelming? And I've got this really cute little card on here. Is that super cute? It's this little bear and it says, Help me to remember, Lord, that nothing's going to happen today that you and I can't handle together. And when I made this book with all these little cards, I would always flip it over and write something on the back. And on the back it says, let him help you carry the load. That's a good reminder, right? We don't have to carry it by ourselves. Let's let him help us carry the load. We must recognize the difference between burdens that are right for us to bear and burdens that are wrong. We should never bear the burdens of sin or doubt. But there are some burdens placed on us by God, which he does not intend to lift off. God wants us to roll them back onto him, to literally cast your burden, which he has given you, on the Lord. If we set out to serve God and to do his work, but get out of touch with him, the sense of responsibility we feel will be overwhelming and defeating. But if we will only roll back on God the burdens he has placed on us, he will take away that immense feeling of responsibility, placing it with an awareness and understanding of himself and his presence. Many servants set out to serve God with great courage and with right motives. But with no intimate fellowship with Jesus Christ, they are soon defeated. They do not know what to do with their burden, and it produces weariness in their lives. Others will see this and say, what a sad end to something that had such a great beginning. Cast your burdens on the Lord. You have been bearing it all, but you need to deliberately place one end on God's shoulder. The government will be upon his shoulder, Isaiah 9, 6. Commit to God whatever burden he has placed on you. Don't just cast it aside, but put it over onto him and place yourself there with it. You will see that your burden is then lightened by the sense of companionship, but you should never try to separate yourself from the burden. That was really good. You know, so often what do we say when we have a burden? God, take this away, take this away. We always just want it to go away, right? But that was really good to think about. When he gives us a burden, there's a reason for that. And that we shouldn't just be trying to cast the burden off, but take take that burden and put one side of it on his shoulder because he's strong enough to handle it. And a lot of times when he gives us burdens, it's because he wants to teach us something or to make us stronger or more have more character or just strength or wisdom. And a lot of times when we go through hard things, what can we do later? We can be helping somebody else out as well. So my prayer for you today, my friend, is that you do this with me, that we don't just ask God, just take the burden, take the burden and be wimpy about it, but just like, God, why have you given me this burden? What are you going to teach me through this? And then just place one corner of it on his shoulder and then together walking side by side, we're going to get through this burden together. So that is a really good way to look at burdens. So I hope you think about that today, placing your burden on God's shoulders, and then you'll just have just a more peaceful day knowing that this burden is here for a reason and he wants to be teaching you something about that. Think about that today, my friend, and I will see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own copy of the My Utmost for His Highest devotional book by going to utmost.org. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.